It's a little project I've been working on lately. It's just a small uh, permanent magnet uh, alternator. I don't know if you can see the coils in there. This thing's basically just, it's just wired up in a single phase, but the way I have it built, I should be able to uh, pretty easily take it apart and rewire it for three phase or change it from three phase that's in parallel, three phase serial, or whatever. Right now it's not completed. There's only four magnets on the rotor and there's a total of six coils. And there should be eight magnets, which I should have in a few days. So a little premature probably on this video, but just want to get something out there to to show off. I have a couple of LEDs here. Hopefully you can uh, you can see them. And um, I don't know if you can see the offset nature of the LEDs. There, since this is an AC uh, generator, it uh, one light lights and then the other lights they're the two LEDs are wired uh, backwards from each other, so when the current's traveling one way, the uh, one LED will light up. When it starts traveling the other way, the other will light up. So, hopefully you can, hopefully you can see those as I spin this. So it doesn't take too much to get them, to get them going. I've also played around with them and uh, wired them up to a to a transformer. Um, just to see if it would, if they would light up hooked up to this transformer, that should uh, boost the voltage a little bit. This is a 120 volt, uh, 24 volt transformer, so I'm just hooking up to the to the 24 volt side, and that should give me about a amplification of about five times. So it doesn't really the LEDs really depend on uh, amperage, and this is a very low amperage alternator but it does give it let them uh, light up just a little bit sooner a little bit lower voltage because uh, they require at least something like 1.2 volts or something before they'll light at all um, so this just gives them that uh, uh, that boost to get over the, the hump if you will and just kind of uh, just kind of neat so that's about it. I don't know if you can see in there and actually see the magnets or not. I can actually take this. Uh, this will actually come apart. I need to remove the set screw from the pulley, and the whole, the whole, uh, the whole mechanism will come apart. So you can see how it's all wired up. Just a moment. I'll take the pulley off and disassemble. All right, I'm getting ready to take this apart, and I'm going to just disconnect some of the wires from it and set that to the side. Move our way here. I'll just remove this pulley real quick. Now you can see it come apart rather easily. Take the shaft bearing out, and the shaft's just a carriage bolt. So now we should be able to just remove the stator. Holes are fairly close to the diameter of the bolts, so it makes the whole thing a little bit of a challenge to get apart. This is a stator. You can see I've used a lot of tape to um, keep the coils wound. And you can see I started off with kind of a higher end coil, but I wanted to increase the voltage, so I switched to a smaller wire and I'll eventually rewire that coil. 
there's some little screws that have been put ice in the middle of the of the coils just to serve as kind of a uh, soft iron core. They don't really do do great, but they do add just a little bit. Over here, you can see my rotor. This is just uh, cut out of a piece of plywood and with uh, holes drilled for the for the permanent magnets. And on the back here, we just have another another bearing to hold the hold the uh, rotor shaft. So it spins pretty good. But you can see there's a space for four additional magnets, which really should up the uh, uh, up the output on this this little generator currently. And I didn't think of it until just a little earlier. Was that uh, as these magnets are generating, there's since there's six coils instead of just three, uh, there are some coils that are not covered with a magnet. Um, at some points in time, they actually could be a load on the on the system. So my plan is to add a few outputs for each individual coil that are exposed to the outside of the stator using some machine screws and what that would allow me to do is just kind of a, on a whim rewire it from single phase to three phase or just have all that flexibility to play around and I just built this as kind of a just a little test bed for uh, for building maybe a larger alternator in the future I know uh, permanent magnet alternators are kind of a Kind of a thing right now for uh, wind power enthusiasts and whatnot. I just wanted to see how they work and uh, check out this uh, whole three-phase, uh, single phase, and uh, uh, learn learn a few things about that. So, um, hope you've enjoyed seeing this and maybe prompts a few ideas for you as well. And uh, hope you can leave some comments. Thank you.